Hey everybody, it's Jeff Hunter here from Pro Chevrolet, and I want to talk to you today about leasing. And here's the reason why: because almost on a daily basis, I'm getting asked from my customers and clients, "What is leasing all about? What you know? How would it benefit me?" Well, let me tell you this right off the bat. I will I will be honest with you and say this: leasing is not necessarily for everybody. It is though a viable option for a huge majority of us. The funny thing is, a lot of us don't realize it because we don't know what it's about and we're too scared to ask about it. So I'm going to tell you a bit about it today. All right. So when it comes to leasing, what you're basically doing is financing a vehicle essentially financing a vehicle or paying for a vehicle and only paying for the amount that you're using okay so typically my leases are going for either three or four years we can go up to five years the nice thing is if you can get in a three-year window is you have full warranty coverage, full new vehicle warranty coverage for the time you own the vehicle. Now, of course, if you're into a Buick or into a Cadillac, you can go to four years and still be under that new vehicle warranty, okay? Um, but the whole idea is this. You can get into a vehicle and get into a new one more often, all right? Most of my finances that are going out there are going at seven years, which is 84 months. And a lot of people are not keeping their vehicle for that full time, okay? So, and if they are, they're gonna have maintenance along the way, you're gonna have uh, time without warranty, you're gonna own that vehicle along the way. So you're gonna have additional expenses outside of paying for that vehicle. And again, a lot of us are trading it in between you know, three to five years anyway. So for those of you who are trading in between three and five years, why would you not consider leasing? The other nice thing is we do live in Sault Ste. Marie. We, most of us, at least, don't put a ton of kilometers on. You'd be very surprised to know that about between 14 and 16,000 kilometers a year is the average for those of us within the city. Well, General Motors warranties, or warranties, pardon me, leases start at 20,000 K a year. So for, again, for most of us, that's more than enough kilometers. So we're not having to worry about that. Now, a couple of the common things that I hear, especially when I bring up leasing, is number one, well, I don't want to lease a vehicle because I want to own it. Well, here's the funny thing. As I just talked about a couple of seconds ago, most of, most of you out there are, not, are financing your vehicle at 84 months, okay? Again, most of you are not keeping your vehicle for 84 months. So along that period of time, the bank actually owns that vehicle anyway. So you don't own it until you're done paying for it, okay? Uh, that's the number one thing. The other thing I get asked a lot is, well, I don't want to lease because what's going to happen when I bring it in at the end of the lease? What are they going to ding me for? Because my cousin's sister's uncle's dog sitter uh, had a lease and they, you know, she brought it back and they charge her a whole lot, whole lot of money for whatever. Well, we have a way to curb that. First and foremost, let me just explain. The horror stories are not like that at all. There is no horror stories like that. I've been doing this for six years here now, and I can honestly say I haven't had one of my clients come back with a lease that's had an issue like that, okay? And here's part of the reason why as well. We have something called excess wear that we can sell on the leases. And basically what that is, is it covers you for up to $3,500 worth of, worth of what they call incidental. So a scratch, a ding, you know, a broken windshield, a tear in the seat, all that kind of stuff. Basically, again, the number is $3,500 because essentially anything more than that would have been an insurance claim, would have been an actual accident, okay? And let's talk about insurance for a second, okay? That's another big bonus of leasing, okay? If we are financing a vehicle, and let's say I finance a GMC Sierra, I'm three years into my finance of seven years. We do live in Sault Ste. Marie and I'm heading to the island and I hit a deer. All of a sudden, there's a twelve to $15,000 damage or hit on that vehicle. When I go to trade that vehicle in, in let's say five years, I'm not gonna get the same amount for that vehicle as the person beside me with that GMC Sierra, same year, same kilometers, is gonna get because they don't have a twelve to $15,000 insurance claim on it. Well, when you lease, GM or whoever the company you lease through is going to assume that risk. That's a huge benefit because if I'm a year and a half into a lease and again, I hit a deer or a moose or whatever it is or another vehicle, okay, it goes through my insurance, great, it's fixed, but at the end of the lease, there you go, hand it in, <laughs> wipe my hands, and I go on to another one. All right, and let's talk about going to another one. That's the cool thing. Again, with a lease, you can get in. We have leases from two years to five years, first of all. Uh, again, I, that three-year window is kind of the sweet spot just from a warranty perspective, all right? Um, but at the end of the lease, you have what we call options and not obligations. And basically what I mean by that is at the end of, let's say, three years, you have the option of buying out that vehicle. So there's something called a residual. And you'll know this when you start your lease. It's going to show you how much you can buy that vehicle for at the end. Let's say you, you, there's nothing else out there you like. You love the vehicle. It's got low K on it. Uh, you haven't had a deer or moose of it, as we talked about. Uh, so you want to buy that vehicle. You can, and you can finance it here as a used vehicle. That's one option. The other option is you can just turn that vehicle in, 
and get into another lease. And a lot of times what I've done with my clients is I'm getting them into another lease before their lease is up. So I'm getting, and oftentimes into a newer, obviously a newer vehicle uh, with sometimes more features for the same price. And I've even done for less just because I can kind of watch and see when programs are coming out and uh, I get you out of it earlier, okay? So that's another option. The, the, the other option is maybe you hate me and you don't want to deal here anymore. You've had a bad experience with the Chevy, which you're not going to, but let's say that was the case. You can just turn the keys in and walk away over a short amount of time. And the other thing is, I mean, especially if you're a younger person, a ton of stuff can change in your life over the course of three years, four years, five years. Just think about what's happened if you're in your 20s, for an example, your early 30s, what's happened in the last five years? You may, uh, may have leased a, uh, uh, or let's say you financed a Chevy Cruze over seven years, all of a sudden, you've got two kids on the way or whatever it may be, that car's not gonna work for you anymore. Well, if you're into a lease, you can get out of that a lot sooner and get into another vehicle. Whereas when you're financing, it's not gonna be so easy to get out of, especially like, let's say a cruise, um, you know, over the, over the after you own it only for two years and you're financing it for seven. So again, that's just a little bit. There's tons more when it comes to leasing. What I wanna tell you is this, don't hesitate to message me, call me, email me, uh, and ask me some questions. I'm kind of all over the place here because there's tons of stuff to know about it. I just wanna let all of you know that leasing is not a scary thing. It's definitely a viable option, especially for those of us here at Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, and again, just please message me or call me anytime if I can answer any questions when it comes to this, all right? Thanks for listening to me this whole time. Take care, everybody.